Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lex and I'm the owner of plantlifelex.com, which is my online houseplant store. Today's video is a plant shop vlog where I take you guys all behind the scenes of me running my plant store from home. Today, we're jumping right into it, no intro. I'm sitting on the floor of my greenhouse right now because I have to actually make a ton of potting mix bags. These are the bags here. And I know it seems like I do this all the time and it might feel like it's repetitive, but the truth is I literally do this all the time. This is something I probably do about three times or more a week, just making big batches of soil and prepping them in bags so that they can be sold. Off camera to save time, I just made a big batch of soil mix and it's getting to the point where I need to definitely get a bigger container for this because I'm going through the mix so fast now that it's like every time I turn around, I have to make a new bag. But that's a good thing because that means you guys are really loving the soil mix. So thank you guys so much for purchasing it and trying it out. I really appreciate it. So I'm just going to get started because this does take me a little bit to do. Um, I have to fill each bag individually. Each bag does get 12 ounces and then I weigh it using my little scale. So like I said, I did pre-mix the soil off camera just to save some of your time. But I do have other vlogs where I go into a more detail about the mix and everything like that. This is one of the products that does the best on my shop. Obviously I'm a plant store, so I don't always have the same products in stock, you know what I mean? But for the products like this that are always in stock, the potting mix is actually the best seller. So these mixes are 12 ounces a bag and I do weigh each one of them. And then before I ship them, I do tape the top so that it doesn't explode in the mail because the little zip thingy isn't that great when it gets so full. So we have one done. I'm gonna just stick it over here. So this potting mix is completely soil free. I make this mix myself. This is perfect for aeroid plants and Hoyas like this as well. And those are the only like type of plants that I sell. So it's fitting to have a potting mix to go along with them. And when I mean soil free, that means that I do not have like a base potting soil in this mix at all. This mix is just cocoa husk chips, coarse perlite, charcoal, fir bark, and orchid bark. And this is what I use for all of my plants that are not in pond or leka. I'm happy to share it with you guys and I'm so happy that so many of you guys are always purchasing it and you guys tell me how much you like it. We did sell quite a bit of soil mix last week and this week actually as well. So that's why I'm making a bunch more bags because I made like 30 something bags and now I only have like five left. It's just better to always have them sort of made in advance. And when I'm finished this, I'm going to have to make a whole other soil batch as well. This week, we are expecting to get the new shipment of plants, which is great news because we have absolutely nothing in this greenhouse, which I'm so thankful and grateful for because you guys are the ones that sold me out. <laughs> I know you guys are asking me when I'm getting the next batch of plants and they're coming this week. I can expect them probably to be on the shop the following week, so two weeks time. I get them in the mail, I unbox them, I let them rest for a few days since they were in the mail. I repot them if necessary, and then I just kind of quarantine them before I list them for sale. That is just something that I like to do. The plants do come from a very reputable wholesale greenhouse and they actually do supply majority of plant stores. So I've never had a pest issue with them. I've never had a really a bad experience or anything, but I still like to be cautious and you know, make sure the plants are good before I list them for sale. So I have to make sure I have another batch of soil ready to go because we're getting about 50 something plants, I think. So it is a lot of work when I get them because a lot of them are so root bound that they need to be like up potted. So I usually do just up pot the plants um, for you guys before I list them so that you don't have to really worry about it. But the plants, they grow so fast that by the time <laughs> you guys buy them and get them, they're already like root bound again. 
but that's a good thing because that means that you know the plant is healthy you don't have to worry about it not being like rooted or anything like that the plants are always like fully rooted i am really excited for this batch of plants coming i picked out some things that we've never had on the shop before so i'm super excited to get them for you guys the company did send me an email advising, unfortunately, yet again, the small ties are unavailable. So unfortunately, we're not gonna have any ties yet again for this restock, but that's all right. I think what happens is that they kind of prioritize their local customers. Um, so local businesses that are part of their wholesale program, they can come there and actually pick out the ones that they want. So I guess when us online orders, are sending in our order invoice to them, they don't put them aside until it's time to pack them. So that's probably what's happening, which is, I mean, which I guess makes sense, but at the same time, it does suck because I'm looking at like an availability list. It's saying that they have them. I'm ordering it weeks in advance. And then the day that it gets shipped out, they send me an updated invoice saying, we don't have this, we don't have this, we don't have this. And it's just like, damn. But I think that they have them, but then their local people come and shop. And then in the end, they just don't have anymore. But one thing I can say is that if you're a plant store in Florida, you got it so easy. <laughs> like you have it so freaking easy to be a plant store in Florida because there's so many wholesale greenhouses down there that they can literally just drive to. But then for us like online people, we have to pay a different minimum amount, which is way more expensive than the local people, which I get it. We have to pay labor fee per plant that gets boxed up. We have to pay for them to wrap each plant. So that's another fee. And if you do shipping, which they only do shipping for 50 plants or less, the shipping can be from $300 plus, which honestly isn't that bad, I guess. But yeah, it's a lot of money. And if you're like a big store who needs more than 50 plants, you actually have to call a trucking company and schedule the truck to go to that greenhouse, pick up the plants and drive it back to your state which can cost thousands of dollars. So they gave me an estimate of how much something like that costs. And it was like $2,000, $3,000. And I was like, oh, heck no. Like, I can't afford that right now. Maybe in the future, but goddamn, like <laughs> you're already spending like 3,000 for plants and then another 3,000 just to get them driven to you. And since we are talking about how expensive it actually is for the businesses to, you know, get the plants, that's where the actual price per plant for you guys comes into play. It comes down to how much did I buy this plant for? How much did it cost for me to ship it? The soil mix is a cost, the pot is a cost, and the business is paying for it, and that's where the prices are coming from. And I also understand that some businesses are gonna charge way more than others, but for me, when I'm doing prices, it's based off of all those things, like how much am I actually spending? and how am I gonna make profit off of this, these plants, you know? So anyway, we are on our last bag that I have on hand, and I've only got this much soil mix left. Probably later on this week, I'll make some more bags off camera, and my glove is already like destroyed. I recently did my nails and they're just like popping out of the freaking glove at this point. I actually hate doing this. It's like the most boring task, like just doing this. And I actually have to not only do this, I have to also make perlite bags because I do actually sell bags of coarse perlite as well and I don't have any on hand, but I will spare you guys and I will not do it on camera <laughs> because this stuff, I know it's so boring, isn't it? But this is the stuff that I also have to do like with the store. It's not just always me just, you know, playing with the plants and watering them and stuff like that. So yay, we finished the soil bag. So let's move on to some other fun stuff.
So since we have the soil mix already out, I figured I would go ahead and pot up some props. I potted up two Pariseal Verdes. Here is one. This is Pariseal Verde number one. It has a new leaf coming in here. Then we have Pariseal Verde number two. This one, it does have a small leaf coming in down here. We have two Epipremnum albos. This is the number one. And this is the Epi Albo number two. And then I potted up this little piece of Hoya Obavada as well. I don't have too many props left at the moment, but I know I'm going to have a ton once all the new plants come here and I cut them down. These plants aren't gonna be up for another week or two because I would rather them get adjusted to the potting mix um, before I list them for sale. So in a few weeks, these guys will have some nice roots and they will be ready for sale. I really don't have that many plants for restock this week, but I do have a few things that I need to put back on the shop that didn't sell at the auction. So today I'm going to restock this Hoya Parasitica it looks like this it has some cute little splashy leaves on it this is a little starter plant gloriosum silver and then I just have some other little starter plants that are ready for sale so I'm just gonna put them up as well see if anybody wants them this is the syngonium wenlandii and now it has three cute little leaves so I'm gonna sell this as a starter plant and then I also have some more of these little jacqueline's so this one here is actually quite big and it's outgrowing its little prop cup so I definitely need to get this one on there. And then this one was actually the most recent leaf. So it's definitely sizing up. And then we also have this Jacqueline here. This one has two leaves as well. So I'm going to put this one up. Not as big as the other one. For the most part, the Jacqueline's, I only sell them once they have the two leaves. The other ones that I have over here, they're just a little bit too small. So I don't want to sell them yet. The last plant we're putting up is this bottom cut of my Philodendron Glorious. You guys actually saw me cut this in my last video while I was tied up the greenhouse since it is a bottom cut I'm gonna list it for a little bit cheaper but it has been growing in my collection for some time so you can tell how rooted it is so yeah bottom cuts are a little bit cheaper just because sometimes they're not the prettiest but the perk about a bottom cut is that it's always fully rooted I also made the decision that I think I should just list this big Parisio Verde on the shop um, I kept going back and forth saying I wasn't gonna list it because it's too big and I don't want to ship it so it will cost me a little bit more to ship it so what I think I'm gonna do is just account for the ship cost in the price so it might be a little bit more than usual it does cost a little bit extra to ship so we'll see if anybody wants it it's really beautiful it has some really nice leaves and it has a nice big leaf on the way here it's really beautiful and i know somebody will appreciate it instead of me just waiting on facebook marketplace to sell it one thing that's just so annoying about putting things on facebook marketplace is that every single person will try to haggle you like literally haggle you to death you can literally say that this costs five dollars and they'll literally say will you take it for four like no it's just so annoying like the price is firm it is what it is i don't know what it is with people with facebook marketplace but everything is like a haggle and it's so annoying to sell on there because it's like if you say no then they're like okay never mind i don't want it it's just really a waste of time sometimes i will really only list on facebook if i have a really oversized plant that i know i can't ship and i'll just deal with the drama so we don't have that many plants obviously i have nothing in here but i still wanted to be able to bring you guys something and i'm so late with restocking this week because honestly i've been kind of like under the weather i guess or not really but i just needed a break last week was so intensive like with the shop that this whole week I didn't want to do anything with plants like I just needed to just relax and James and I were packing plants for literally three days straight and it took probably 15 hours in total and I just needed a break so I am sorry that the restock was a little late this week but better late than never right now I'm just going to get pictures of these edit them get them up on the shop let me go ahead and get the rest of this restock done and I will see you guys later Finally, I finished restocking the shop site. Now all of the new listings are showing on the front page. So now everything is updated in the shop page. There is not much in the shop as you can see. I only have one page of items and I only have like a few plants. 
but you know like i said we got plants coming not a big deal considering i had absolutely no plants this week we did have a few orders of like plant pots and even perlite pond and the soil mix as well I have a batch of plants here that need to be watered. I'm sorry if this vlog is just not entertaining because there's no plants, but I promise you the plants are coming. <laughs> um, but this is just what I have right now. So I'm watering all the plants using my sprayer. I got the sprayer from Amazon. I have the link in my description. And I am just using regular tap water and I'm using a uh, Dynagro liquid fertilizer. I fertilize the plants once every two weeks and I pretty much water all the plants weekly. It is really dry in here, so they do dry out quite quick. So I'm just watering them. And since there's really nothing in here, it's just so easy to just put them all in one bin like this and just water them like this. It's been a fairly easy week for me, which is good because I needed a little break. I was talking about it previously that I was a little bit burnt out from last week. It was definitely a lot of work and I'm just so grateful that you guys, you know, showed up for that auction and help sell out the plants. Just having that experience alone, it just really pushes me to know that it is possible to do this full time. So I hope that I can one day do this full time, just have the store and also like YouTube full time. That would be so much fun. So I definitely am manifesting it and I've been working really hard, you guys. So thank you guys so much for like supporting, shopping, commenting, liking the video, sharing everything, you know, all that stuff helps a lot. And I know a lot of you guys are in different countries and you guys have asked me how you guys can support me. Honestly, just liking the videos, um, sharing it, anything like that, that helps, that's supporting. You don't have to necessarily buy something to support me. So yeah, I just wanna say thank you to everybody because you guys have been so good to me. And I also wanted to tell you guys that in April, um, the end of April, there's going to be a plant event in New Jersey where a bunch of plant enthusiasts and sellers and buyers are gonna come out and basically have like a little market. And I decided that I wanted to actually join it and be a vendor. So I'm so excited, but I'm so nervous. It's happening on April 30th. I reposted the flyer in my community tab. Koa's Plant Corner, she's helping to host it. So she's the one that told me about it. Um, so you guys can go to her page and check out the flyer and everything like that if you are from New Jersey. So I am gonna have a table there and I've been thinking about how I want to set the table up, what plants I want to sell, things like that. So probably in the next few weeks, you'll see me doing a lot of things prepping for that. So I'm so excited to share that with you guys. Even if I don't sell anything, I think it'll be a really good opportunity for me to get my name out there. It depends on how this next shipment goes. If we still have plants from this coming shipment, um, I'm probably going to bring those. But if we do sell out, I'm just gonna make another order and then just sell those at the event. I've never done any like type of vending before. So I've been watching a lot of videos um, like setting up your table and stuff like that. And if you are someone who does like market events and stuff, if you have any advice at all, please leave it in the comments. Um, I've never sold in person, so I'm just trying to like figure out like what I need and everything like that. But yeah, I'm really excited for it. And it is far away right now, but once it gets closer, I will definitely talk to you guys more about it. And I will definitely vlog the event as well and vlog like the whole process, like setting up and all that fun stuff too. So I'm really excited about that. So yeah, so that's an update with the shop. And then some of you guys had asked me how the house search is coming and it's going. <laughs> It's a really hard time in New Jersey to look for a house. Like it's really expensive and the houses are going so fast. I send them to my realtor to check them out and within the next day they have already sold. I didn't even get to like look at it. So it's super competitive. I just keep telling myself um, when the time is right, it will be meant to be and I'll know it. Um, I'm trying not to get too upset about it. So yeah, when the right time comes, that's when I'll know. Um, but for now, we are just taking it day by day, and it's okay.